Hello, welcome to the channel. Now this is gonna be a little mini series, three episodes for our three normals, and they are going to battle it out to create three amazing dishes, two portions of each, from a single grocery shopping list of ingredients. And we're only giving them 24 pounds to spend. Plus, of course, as always, we want no food waste. Not going to be easy. Our normals have returned with some ingredients. They picked names out of a cloche to pick the order. Mike went first. It was an interesting cook-off. No. But now it is Barry's turn. Can you do better? Your time starts oh. in three, two, one, cook. Okay, start off with, need to get my grill on. This first recipe I'm going for, chicken kebabs. Really simple, and it starts with zesting my lemon, because every time I do this, I end up juicing before I should zest. Now onto my chicken marinade. So you've gone for thigh, Baz? Gone for thigh, as I want to save a bit of money. And also, thighs on skewers, I think are, are better than chicken marinade. There's a lot more moisture. I'm doing a lemon yogurt marinade, so they should start to char a little bit around the edges as well. It's a lot of chicken for two portions. Are you going to spread any of that chicken across no, the I'm rest not, of the... I'm not spreading my meat. We've had seven and a half minutes. So far lemon. You've zested and juiced a lemon. All right! Two cloves of garlic. Goodness sake! In with a dollop of Greek yogurt. Salt, heavy on the peps. What is that? I wanted a Lepo pepper because we reviewed it in a video a little while ago and I fell in love with it. It's a, fruity and not too spicy spice. Didn't have it. Went for peppery Paul Bieber and presumed it's the same thing, but it says fruity, aromatic and not hot. Have you used it before? Um, I haven't used it before. It's a Turkish condiment, so... Ebbers, tell us everything you know about Paul Bieber. Very little. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get that under the grill. What are you putting these kebabs with? So my tomatoes, I wanted really blistered, beautiful tomatoes with this. I wanted to grill them off in there with the chicken, but there ain't no room. So I think I'm gonna blister them off in a pan instead. I want a really vibrant, beautiful pickled red onion. Cheats pickle, which I'm stealing from Jamie Spafford, because he seems to do it all the time in battles, and he does well in battles. But then I want to microwave that for about a minute, probably. Is that a plastic bowl? <laughs> Lovely, right. Might want to check your chicken, mate. It's looking good. Let's start flipping it in a minute. 13 minutes left. So we're using it for a marinade, we're using it as a kind of yogurt dressing. Yep. And you're saving some back for another day. Yep. Smart. I like it. And I'm using a third of my mint. Doing well, Baz. You've got a lot going on. Feeling okay. Then there's a lot of juice coming off that as well. Using that juice to cook my um, rice in later on. Ooh. Looking at your board, mate, you're going to have used a lot of your fresh ingredients in this first recipe. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, good, right, fine. Yeah, I think I think it's under control. So twenty-four pounds was your budget mm -hmm. to go across six plates of food, three different amazing dishes. That means it's four pound per portion. That's kind of what we base our midweek kind of recipe pack ideas on. Zero waste. You've got a nubbin, nubbin, mate. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna regret that. That yogurt to cucumber ratio looks good. Right, I think now it's just about plating up. Timing wise, you've got six minutes left. Ooh. A little bit. A little Attention to detail here, I like that. Beautiful colours going on. So you bought yourself a bag of tortilla wraps. How many are you using for this and how many get carried over? Two wraps each for this one. It's very calm, cool, and collected. I'm wondering what's happening with the rice in his last couple of minutes. Rice is already cooked, Evers. It's only got to be warmed through. Happy with that chicken. How are you checking that it's cooked through? Um, just eat with belief. I would like it to be a bit more blackened on the outside. And then, where's my rice gone? Three minutes remaining. Okay, cool. Good idea. So then not to waste the chicken juices. Oh, nice. Rice goes on there. You're not a big fan of this stuff, but I still swear by it. I know it's bloody expensive for what it is, but I can't get over the convenience of it. In the spirit of convenience, there's no doubt it makes excellent stir-fried rice. We've used it for things like tajin. My personal bugbear is its cost, both yeah, in its money cost is ridiculous. and its cost to the planet in production. Lemon zest going on. Serving it family style, DIY, quite like that. Last five, four, three, two, one. Step away. Nicely done. Let's get some sex of it, clear down, and start again. Oh, 
Okay. okay, we'll taste all the dishes at the end. Clean kitchen, recipe number two. Your 30 minutes starts now. Uh, right, so this recipe is a zesty crab and butter bean salad. Already sounds great. Now, having already used the cucumber and tomatoes in the last dish, it made sense to use them up again in this dish. So I'll carry on that thing. So where in the first recipe you went for your chicken thigh, which is your most expensive ingredient, you used all of it in that one recipe, this is a tin of crab meat. It's a very affordable way of buying crab. And again, you're going to use that in its entirety. OK, so Ben, I've got you that. You're not binning that. If we weren't watching, he'd definitely have thrown that away. OK, boiling water, two eggs, six minutes. This is the simplest of the three. Presumably, egg's the only thing you're cooking. No. There's another thing Ooh. that I'm having to ad-lib. Because I have lots of tortillas that need using. I wasn't sure if this, this uh, salad would be substantial enough. So I'm also doing some garlic bread Fat. with it. Ooh, nice. Don't forget we have two skills badges up for grabs. One is around creativity and planning. So it's how can you share ingredients to keep variety across three amazing dishes with zero waste. And one is all around food waste and how to upscale the bits that you've got left over. So the way I'm going to try and judge these to keep it fair is I'm going to score each of your dishes out of 20. I'm going to give you a score out of 20 for your planning and your clever use of ingredients and your diversity and inspiration. And I'm going to give you a final score out of 20 for your efficiency in the kitchen. And therefore, you'll have a out of 100 score and we can compare you. Feeling confident, Baz? I'm quietly confident because there's not much room for this one to go wrong. So I am making my own jar in this. Out of what? On the French toast and avocado recipe pack, there was a, a chilli syrup made with cider vinegar, chilli and a bit of sugar microwaved. So I'm going to use that instead. So spoonful of sugar, spoonful of cider vinegar and like I said, it's not that spicy. Microwave for a minute. With his ratio of cold water to egg. I know. It's a, <laughs> it's I don't a, know what that's doing. It's a nod to cooling it down. Oh, it's a new one. It's a new one. It's a new one to cooling it down, yeah. Um, Where's the fridge gone? There is. Okay, right. What's that like? Is that jammy? Another minute. Go. This summer throw together salad is already exciting me. Right, now for the experiment. Is this going to work? I like that. In the spirit of food waste, how's that going for you? That is. Very jammy, so I might just get some olive oil in there to loosen it down a little bit. I'm not sure this might just congeal, I might take it too far. I think what he's made is a caramel, and now he's trying to sit the caramel in oil. Yes, Barry, I need this Right, from shut you. up. That, one, that one's going to work. Yes. One side. yes! That one didn't work. Let's yes. try again. Waste! Now shut we've up. started. Baz, I'd like you to know I'm still rooting for you. You sure? I think it's fine. I wouldn't have put oil in it. Timing-wise, you are halfway. Oh, he's doing garlic bread case. Yeah, I know. Well, I've got to use these breads up somehow. I'm excited by it. I like that. Right, on this occasion, I want to hold the zest back for my next recipe. Now, is this going to congeal if I put lemon juice in it? Oh, bold. Let's have a look. It's okay, just. Oh, now, oh, now, 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 now what are we doing? Now what are we doing? Barry's, Barry's riffing. <laughs> is this what it looks like when Barry riffs and it goes well? Yeah. Well, I've never experienced this and I'm really <laughs> impressed. Uh, right. Eggs are weird, aren't they, Nat? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might be a good idea. I don't know now. Let's plate those up. I don't think you're going to need the full time. You have another eight minutes if you require it. Wow. I, so. I like this as a recipe. It is super simple. But deliciously inviting. Oh, Barry Taylor, I bloody hate your guts. Because <laughs> that looks great. That With six right, minutes Stephen. still on the clock. Nicely done. That is amazing. Recipe number three. Uh huh. Can we get a confidence check in? It's gone really well so far. But I'm going to be honest, this is the one recipe I've never made. Had it for brunch loads of times, adding a few little twists. Turkish eggs. But I'm trying to turn it into a, a dinner rather than a brunch item. Your 30 minutes starts now. Same again. Boil a kettle for your eggs to start off with. Then, 
onto my bowls. I'm making some bowls where you, 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 you basically rest these over some bowls ah. and they kind of bake into that shape. I'll move on to my aubergine. So what are you doing with this? Quickly frying off aubergines in a bit of oil. Probably quite a lot of oil because they absorb it like sponges. He knows the ingredients he's using. Again, I've never made this dish, but I've poached eggs a million times. I've fried off aubergines a thousand times. So I think I'm all right. If I'm honest, in a planning skills badge, play to your strengths. It's all about multitasking. So interesting, you've kind of been inspired by a dish you call Turkish eggs, but you're going for poaching. Yeah. Which I would normally associate Turkish eggs to be a fried egg that's then fried in like the Aleppo oil and butter and things like that. Yeah, I don't, I'm not very good at fried eggs, so I thought poached eggs is safer. Stick to your strengths. So all the leftover yogurt, going for one clove of raw garlic, a little bit of mint in there, Calm, cool, collected, and some really nice summery dishes. I don't know this man. That I would want to eat. <laughs> uh, and then I can eat with that lemon zest, be nice as well. I lemon zest save you saved from recipe two. Yeah, I'll save that for later on. So you've got one tortilla left. Yeah. Which is no, a, remarkable, so, a remarkable happy accident because it sold as a pack of eight and you've got nine. A cheeky little one left in. You've got to eat it. So I've got to eat it. Whenever I've left over bread at home, I make breadcrumbs. So I'm thinking some sort of bread crummy mix at the top, because this is already seeded. Some seeds on top of this would be nice. So, blitz it up, you get something similar. Excellent, I was having a dig at the fact that he had one left over and he's found a use for it, I love it. How long's he got left? 20 minutes. Oh. So the only other bit that I need to do now, other than let these cook and burn a little bit more, is a key part of Turkish eggs is the spicy oil that goes with it. Warm it up and infuse it with the Justin Bieber pepper. I think the, the, the grassy notes of that olive oil with the sweet spice and fruitiness of the pepper would be absolutely delicious. Poaching in a frying pan is a choice. I would do that. I find it easy to get, I find it easy to get out at the end. Okay, bum, bum, bum. Oh, and they worked. Yes. Lemon zest in there. Barry is setting a high bar. We haven't even tasted them yet. Why are you being so safe? Warmed up. You're this... operating within a box. I ad libbed. I, I got creative, but I got creative on paper, and it works. In terms of time, you're coming up to halfway. This looks like it might be a 15 minute cook. Just the eggs to go, I think. Bats, I'm incredibly impressed and so frustrated. I'll be interested to see how this eats. I think actually your breadcrumb saviour is going to be interesting because otherwise it's all quite wet. I'm stuck between that hard spot of I want to see my friend do well, but he's not just my friend today, he's a competitor. Yeah. <laughs> and therefore I also want to see him struggle. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know where I sit, because this, this happens so rarely, I'm treasuring it. Yeah, you, like, it's you're enjoying like, it. Stuff it, it's okay. You're in control today, I like it. For once in the history of Sorted, you might score yourself a valid score. <laughs> okay, right. So then, let's go with a bit more lemon on top. Lemon and eggs, that's weird, isn't it? A bit more wet. That's the bit that makes you want to eat the whole lot. It looks, it looks great. You've got just 12 minutes left. Tell me when you're happy, and we'll stop the clock. I'm happy. It looks super interesting, super inviting. Let's get him into the sexies. Yes. Visually, I think it's midweek food we'd all be pretty proud of and wanting to tuck in, so shall we? Well, speak for yourself, Edward. I reckon, make, make, make a wrap each. I'll eat how I want to eat. <laughs> Could you lay them in? I've gone semi-wrap. I don't want to buy into this fully. <laughs> Go for it. Cheers. Cheers. Well, yeah, obviously it tastes good. Mm. It tastes as good as it looks, it's great. The chicken rice is the one. The choice of the chicken thigh and the fact that you've not overcooked it means it does stay really succulent. The use of the chicken juices in the rice is clever. The blistered tomatoes are dangerously simple, but so good. And a very, very cucumber heavy yogurt. There is nothing not to like. I think you set off with a very obvious plan. 
and I think you delivered it. I'm not getting the flavour from the pepper that I thought it was going to. Mm. Yeah, I, I, it's almost more roasted pepper than it is mm. like chilli pepper. I'm just going to dig into this one. I'm intrigued by this garlic swirl. A lot of garlic, for sure, but it's tasty. But it's good. It's like roasted garlic, isn't it? It's delicious. Sandwiching it and cooking it off together was really nice. You're going to love You've that. got lots of crunch of cucumber and onion, but the fact the crab flakes all the way through mm -hmm. with that same kind of pepper dressing, really good. If there's one criticism, mm. and we haven't even got to the third dish yet, it is that that same pepper spice goes through all three. Yeah. So unlike with Mike's, where you had three very different styles of cuisine, you have a similar kind of pepper spice, even though they're very different. Yeah, but Ebers, this, these dishes are all edible. <laughs> you have a point. And this one I'm most intrigued with, should we pop an egg yolk? Oh. Oh. It looks good as well. As with all these things, it's not really a sharing plate. We've hacked into it, but... Yeah, if there was any criticism, Baz. <laughs> There's the kick mm. in you the actually, oil. You actually got some bits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, heated up, it's lovely. And the mint in the yogurt is good. Oh God, it's that spice that you can actually taste rather than only feel. Mm. Mm. Oh. I mean, the others were great. This is by far the best in my mm. opinion. That is, that is stonking. And a nice snackable bowl. Good. That, again, that, that's... No, don't follow it up, you'll ruin no. it. <laughs> I just need you to know that, uh -huh. and then we can go back to being horrible. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I can't look you in the eye for that compliment, no. it's weird. Just let it be acknowledged that we are proud of you today. Okay, cool. Today. As a friend. Okay. You guys have seen all of that unfold. I'm going to toss up the scores and see how it compares to Mike last time and Jamie next time. We'll reveal the scores at the end, but comment down below. How do you think Baz got on? And it is this kind of thinking that goes into our Sidekick app, so that you get to cook three recipes with one shopping list and no food waste. And usually it tastes this good. Well done. Yes! You've got a long way to go Mate. to beat that, Jay. <laughs> but just know, regardless of how badly it goes for you, you'll still come second. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did say before this, like the one thing we, no one can hear can make is a Thai broth, which is yeah. everything you do. Stop punching down. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs>